Welcome brothers and sisters, and thank you for joining our Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Let us begin with a short prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Message of the Most Holy Virgin Mary to Luz de Maria, November 22nd, 2022. Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, receive my motherly blessing. I walk with my children. I love them. I keep them united to my hands so that they would not be lost. At this time, confusion is spreading, just as weeds in the field grow in haste without being seen. Ideologies of great falsehood are separating my children from the mystical body of my divine son. The divine word is one alone. Do not follow those who wish to deceive you. Beloved children, the sun is in convulsion, stirred up, sending out its force towards the earth. And this, children, will result in a climate that will do serious damage to the earth and to you. In the face of such disbelief on the part of my children towards the announcements of heaven, natural phenomena are intensifying and the earth continues to shake with great fury. In the face of such disbelief on the part of my children, the ways in which communities will suffer at human hands in every town and in every nation will intensify. Children of my heart, Remain in the state of spiritual and physical alertness. Evil causes harm where my children are bent on ignoring the law of God and the sacraments. You must consecrate yourselves to me in order to maintain a defensive shield, as long as you remain obedient and good creatures in every respect. Beloved children, you have forgotten that communism will dominate the world and spread over the earth. My children do not see that they are being led towards the precipice, dominated by those who do not desire the salvation of your souls. Communism gives power to small groups. These factions cause chaos and are prepared to fight for food and other necessities that they lack. Demons are upon mankind. What is very dangerous is spiritual ignorance and the ignorance of the Holy Scriptures. Prayer is indispensable. Not praying keeps you away from the Holy Trinity and this mother. Prayer, prayer, prayer. My beloved, my son's church will be dressed in mourning and my children will become confused due to spiritual ignorance. You will see a great sign in heaven at which some of my children will be terrified and believers will know that being at war the warning is near. Be responsible, my children. Be true children of my divine son. What is happening to humanity is difficult. The human race must convert now. As if the warning were about to happen in a moment. Be on alert, children. Pray for the United States. Nature will turn against her. The friends of this nation will abandon her in the midst of war. Pray, children of my divine son, pray for France. Fire will come to burn great monuments of this nation. Pray, children of my divine son, pray. Pray for Japan, pray for Afghanistan, pray for Australia. Suffering will come to these nations. Pray, children, pray, pray. The earth's magnetism is diminished. Pray, children. Concerning the illness that is approaching, pray concerning the new obstacle to travel, pray. Be faithful to my divine son. Be cautious in your work and actions. The suffering of humanity is near. Save your souls, children. Be cautious and take care of your brothers and sisters. Unite and be a single heart of love, of prayer, of offering, and of reparation. 
My heart is an ark of salvation. I protect you constantly. Do not fear, I am with you. Mother Mary, Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary of Luz de Maria. Brothers and sisters, our Blessed Mother alerts us to the importance in our personal lives of being constant in faith and maintaining not only knowledge of sacred scripture, but also putting into practice of the work and action of Christ. We are at a time for saying yes, yes, or no, no. We cannot live half-heartedly. If we are of Christ, it is impossible that the human ego should prevail in our lives. Our Blessed Mother told me that she cannot mention all the countries that are at great risk in a single message, but that they are being mentioned little by little, and that we must pray for each other. She told me that the danger for humanity is very great and very serious, inasmuch as externally there are celestial bodies that are roaming around the earth and causing the earth to be influenced by the magnetism of these celestial bodies, leaving aside the influence of the sun, which is causing great seismic activity on earth. Our Blessed Mother talked to me about the spiritual decline of this generation, about the pain caused to her divine son by fashions, chiefly the way that women dress, with their bodies being almost naked, the same applies to men, many of dress and clothes that are appropriate for women. Brothers and sisters, the decadence generation is sad. Let us remember few towns disappeared from the face of the earth because of ignoring God. At this time, this generation must rethink, repair, and return to the path towards the most holy trinity, not forgetting our blessed mother. In spite of all of the above, our mother said to me, Humanity has a responsibility to intercede for one another. Amen.